This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get wet paint out of carpet. You get wet paint on your carpet while painting, there's no need to panic because you can get all the paint out and your carpet will still look awesome. Don't need to replace it. So stay tuned for this video and stay tuned for the special guest that I got with me today. So we've got Lisa, our special guest today. And um, what are you gonna to add to the show today? I don't know. It's like you're gonna teach me how to clean paint off the carpet. Yes. Yeah. Here we go, we're gonna just dump some We'll dump some paint right here. A um, little bit of paint, that's kind of a mess right there, I would think. Um, that would be something to be you know, worried about and panicked over, um, but there is no reason to panic. So, at least as you've got a, a rag in, there. In the past, I would have panicked, because like, I usually walk in a room that's being painted and I get covered in paint. And so I don't know how it happens, yep. it just does. But now, I'm in my nice clothes and I'm not gonna get covered in paint yep. and I'm gonna not panic. So what we don't want to do is just leave this on here a long time because it's going to keep soaking down into the carpet, down through the backing, into the padding. So we've got our two buckets of clean water. And you got your one bucket where you're going to pick up the bulk of your paint and then you're going to have one bucket to wring your uh, dirty water in and then re uh, uh, wring your, your rag out so it's cleaner and then begin picking it up. That was so, a good tip. So this right here, that's a, a quite a big quantity of paint. So you can either pull it up with a rag or you can do it with your hands. Do you want to do it with your hands or I'll let you do it with your hands. So, watch. so this is, the, the first thing is, this is a pretty good spill. So I'm going to want to take and just scoop that up with my hands right here. And I can put it in this water, but that's probably, here, give me that rag right there. Okay. Um, so we've got two rags because I don't want to dirty this water up too bad right now. So I'm just going to put that on that rag right there. I mean, you can't see that because I just put the bucket there, but yeah. you know. Now I've got the bulk of it up just with my hands. So now I'm going to just take, I want to take it and clean my hands off. And so we didn't want Lisa's pretty hands to get paint on them and get all dirty. So I did the worst part. But once again, that's, you know, there it is. Now the bulk of the paint is up. And now you just take this rag and you don't want to scrub it in like really hard. You're just going to kind of start, want to start. Um, wiping it up. So I still have this big chunk right here. Yeah, and just kind of lightly, you have to start. So that was a big it. bit of paint. So I'm going to do my two buckets. Bring it out really good. Don't watch it because you don't want to your water to you know, splatter out of there. Right. Bring that out really good. And then I put it in the clean water. Yeah, in the bulk of this paint that's spilled here, there's not a lot of paint there that can start soaking into the carpet now. Now we just got kind of, you know, uh, some paint film and now you're just going to start working it out. And you always push it to the side, not down. Yeah, what you don't want to do is you don't want to like smear it into a larger area. So you want to just work in that area right here. So I'm just going to be taking my bag and just in that small area. So you want to take your know, ring your rag out there, really good, get it um, all wrung out hard. And then you want to dip it in there and get it cleaner. So the thing is, is you don't want to panic, but you don't want to move slow. Because, you know, the longer it sits on there, the more it's going to soak into the carpet. Yeah. So that, Yeah. Now you've got the bulk of it up, and it's wet, it's moist, and so now you've got lots of time, it's not going to dry. And so you just keep, you do this, like, wiping motion until you get it up, just like that. And then you just got to just keep working it, you know, working it out of the carpet with your, your rag. So you're just going to keep wringing it, dipping it. And you've never had a situation with wet carpet that it ruined the carpet? No. The, the water is not going to ruin the carpet. So okay. this, you're going to want to start to put more pressure now because you want to get you know, deeper down into the carpet, deeper into the carpet fiber. So I'm going to take and want to start working it. And what this is doing is it's lifting it out into the rag. So wring that out. So do I keep bringing it out in the, the... So you should probably change your water. Like that was a lot of paint, so it would be smart to change it. You know, um, let me see how dirty your water is. It's and that's still, that's still really clean. Okay. Eventually, when you get to the very final step, you know, you probably want to uh, dump one of these out and just get really mm -hmm. clean water. Just We'll look at that water and see how clean so it is. So going back and forth like that, is that good? Yep. So, all right, so uh, we're just cruising right along. I mean, how's it looking? It looks just perfectly fine. But, I can't even tell. Um, and she can't even tell. I mean, I can tell. Um, I can still see there's still some white. This paint was kind of a white gray. I can still see a little bit of the, the color in there. So I'm going to dip, dip it into the water again. And sometimes, sometimes just don't, 
just leave a little, yeah, just don't get it too, not too dry, but that's pretty good right there. Because you want, you want this thing, you don't want it to be completely dry. You want it to have enough water that the water's going into the carpet and kind of, and, and then lifting it out. But I'm just gonna start doing these little scrubbing motions. And the thing is, is you wanna keep it just localized in that area. I think what people have a tendency to do is they start scrubbing you know, big areas and starting to spread the paint, the paint spill out even farther. But you know, the, the carpet, you wanna get down there because it had enough time to like soak in there you know, fairly deep. So you wanna just you know, work down there. And I like to just push on the carpet in that area and just keep you know, drawing it out and scrubbing it. This is kind of, um, this carpet is a looped carpet. And I, um, you know, I don't want to damage the carpet, so yeah. I especially don't want to use any tools. I don't want to use anything that's going to um, mess up the loops, pull the loops loose. So yeah. I don't like to use toothbrushes. I don't like to use, you know, um, any nylon brushes. I don't use my fighting one, any of that stuff. All I use, the type of cloth that's best, you could use like t-shirts, but a terry cloth, something that has... Um, you know, a terry cloth is, as I don't know how you describe that it, it's texture? not texture, it's not smooth. Yeah. It's like, like, a, like a bath towel. Yeah. So I think that's getting pretty good. You know, if I, if I you know, smooth out my carpet right here, you know, I know it's wet, it's dark, but I think that paint is, is almost out 100%. I would say maybe about two more percent. I'd probably, you know, dip it again. Mm -hmm. Get one more. Yeah, do it one more. So, you want to dip it in there. You want to dip it in there and just get and kind of just ring it and, and squeeze it and ring it and make sure that that rag, you know, you're starting to get down to the final steps and you want that thing to be really clean. Mm -hmm. So now you want to just re really put a lot more force. Just really there you go. I don't like, even like, know where to walk it because it's all gone. And so you want to you, you don't want to always scrub in one direction. You want to scrub in multiple directions. There you go. And now you're in multiple directions. And do you see the carpet has like a pattern too? Yeah. And so eventually, when you you're want. all if, when you're all done, if you want to really hide this really well, you want to you know get it in um, the, the carpet to lift up in the pattern. Like here yeah. we go, like right there. Now the carpet's all lifted up. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to dry. I don't put. You don't want to put anything over the top of it. You don't want to cover it. You want it to be able to dry really fast. Air dry. Air dry. I don't use any hair dryers. Anything like that that could possibly, you could get too close and melt the carpet or something like that, you don't want to mess with that. So. so what I've learned is don't panic. And if you spill paint, try and get it up as quick as possible because the longer it sits there, it's going to absorb in. And then you have more elbow grease you got to do. Yeah. And two buckets. I like that because I would have never gotten two buckets. Yeah. That didn't make sense to me, but that makes sense to put the well, paint we, water in the clean yeah. water. Yeah, we, we've done it multiple times with just one bucket, but mm -hmm. then you got to just empty the bucket out and more. stuff more. But you know, there's definitely no re reason to panic. If you're if now if you got white carpet mm -hmm. and you spilled like a vibrant red on it, mm -hmm. the dye there's the possibility on older carpets that dye could actually stain. The, the white carpet and you know that that's not a good scenario um but we have spilled you know unfortunately i've spilled we have white carpet downstairs we can test it oh we could <laughs> <laughs> i've spilled a red paint on white carpet before and got it up just with this method just using water and just keep lifting it out lifting it out and do you have any other out. things like if water i mean obviously you said water's always worked for you have you ever had to use any chemicals or anything you know, else i have used chemicals in the past and and the chemicals in the past have a tendency to discolor the carpet or where, where you put that chemical on and you start cleaning it, it kind of leaves a ring and it kind of, it, it messes up the dyes in the carpet. So uh, I've tried using Crud Carter carpet cleaners, um, but if I was to use anything, because interior paint comes out really easy and um, the dyes, you know, are water-based. So if you used anything, you would just use your dish soap inside your, uh, underneath your sink, just a mild dish soap. That would what be if it was oil-based? Would you have a different well, scenario? Uh, if it was oil-based, um, I think I would probably panic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's a good reason to paint with water-based paints. We don't use oil-based on anything okay. anymore. Um, if you spill oil-based paint on your carpet, the only way to get it out is with paint thinner. So you have to use paint thinner or mineral spray. So now you've got to, and I, get, I mean, I kind of was just being funny, um, you know, I panicked, but you can get it out, but now you've got to use, you've got to get paint thinner and you have to have, 
you know, probably three gallons of mineral spirits or paint thinner, and you do the same exact method working it out. Probably and, loves those. Yeah, and you're and you're gonna have success getting it out, but what's gonna the problem is the mineral spirits and or the paint thinner is probably going to um, going to stain and, and mess up with mess with the dyes in your carpet. So uh, I've never used oil-based products in uh, in on in a house on any type of walls or trim ever in my career. So, so that's a good reason why not to use them because yeah. if liability. you did, if you did, there's a lot more liability yep. than using water-based. My knee's killing me. So there you have it, some simple tips to getting paint out of carpet. Don't panic, it can be easily done. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Please consider liking our video. And don't forget, we're also on Instagram, Idaho Painters, and Facebook, The Idaho Painter, doing, always doing some little tips and tricks and little short videos, and you can just see what the heck we're doing during the week. It's really cool. Please follow us there. Yeah. Yeah, we got a website, theidahopainter.com, where we got tips and tricks on our website. Uh, we offer email support, phone support. We even sell our shirts and hats, and we have our tool store there, too. So check it out. Well, being married to a professional painter, it's good for me to learn these things in case I try to take on a project and spill paint that I don't have to call my husband. So I learned something of value. If you have ways that you get paint out of carpet, share it with us. We want to hear. Yeah, leave your comments below. And also, uh, don't forget, there is a little share button down there. If you would just share this video to all your friends, it's a simple way to help, um, help support our channel. And once again, we'll see you on my next video. Out. Paint does spill.